Hi guys, welcome to episode one of Butler Boy Adventures, the All Australian Adventure Show. So what are we about? Anything to do with the outdoors. Whatever it is, we love it, we can't get enough of it. So camping, four wheel driving, boating, kayaking, surfing, the lot. We love it, we can't get enough of it. So I suppose it's about this time that I should, we should probably introduce the star of the show, the Butler Boy. What's up guys? Me and my dad Lips, we've been doing camping trips since I was two years old. We've been all over the place, to the beach, to the bush, to the mountains, to the mangroves, and we can't get enough of it. We've been filming, we've been taking photos, and one day I said to Lips, how about we just make our own YouTube channel? So that's what we've done, and this is what this is about. So yeah, welcome to Butler Boy Adventures. So I'm the butler boy and this is my dad Lips and from now on we're going to take you on all of our adventures. To give you guys a feel for what BBA is all about we've put together a collage of the last few years really of what we've been up to, all the, the types of things that BBA is really about. So sit back, enjoy and hopefully you'll come along on this journey with us. You can probably guess what we are into. Camping, fishing, surfing, swimming, camping, scootering, skating, and anything that you can think of that is outdoors. We love it, we can't get enough of it. So as well as all that stuff, we also love cooking on the fire. So cooking on the open fire, cooking on coals, cooking in the camp oven, so making bread, damper, roasts, all sorts of things, all sorts of concoctions, and we love it all. Let's go take a look at some of the gear. The 
This is our basic filming gear. So we've got two GoPros, we've got the Hero 3 and we've got the new Hero 9. So we've got the two drones, they're both by DJI, we've got the Phantom. So this is really for the where we where we need a bit more power with the wind, so off of cliffs, over the sea, things like that. Then we've got this little guy here, the Spark. So he's he's much smaller. This is good for close-up type of work. It's also got a few features like follow me, so we can we can use that for tracking type purposes. So we've got a few GoPro attachments and, and we got two of these walkie-talkies for me and lips to communicate. So what so what else do we have? We've got small Panasonic camcorder so this is good just for zoom different field of view to the gopros which is wide angle we've got uh, the, the wrist mount so this is underwater wrist mount for the hero 3 we've got a small little flexible tripod and gps uh, garmin gps so this is what we use to find our way about wheels wise we we drive around in a, a toyota prado land cruiser uh, it's the V6 one, the four litre petrol V6. So let's go take a look at him. So this is our car. This is how we get around. Uh, we do all our four wheel driving in, in, in this car. We've got a Safari snorkel. So this is a really good bit of kit for helping keep the dust away from the engine, mainly for that also good for if we're traveling through water it just keeps that that air intake point higher up and in in later seasons we'll talk a bit more about four-wheel driving uh, but just for now we'll just go over the basics so we've got a two inch suspension lift so we're a little bit higher gives us that ground clearance so we're running the bilstein uh, shock absorber and some dominson springs we've got bfg uh, ko2 all-terrain tires excellent tire Main, the, the, the best part we've got though are these ARB tyre pressure monitor sensors and, and why is that good, Bella? Because the, when we went to the snowy mountains we had two flat tyres. Yeah, two flat tyres at once, that can ruin a day pretty quickly. So from ever since that moment we only had one spare so we were in a bit of trouble that time. Um, we got the monitoring system, the idea being that when you get a flat, as soon as you lose that, that pressure drops you get an alarm and I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later on. A uh, great bit of kit. Best bit of kit by far, by any stretch though, is definitely this fold down table by Kaon. It's absolutely fantastic. 15 kilos of weight, just so good for camping, having a beer on there, doing the cooking, whatever it takes. We, um, awesome. We can also use it for when we catch fish from the ocean. Yeah, yeah, preparing fish, all sorts of stuff. Very sturdy, folds up nicely. Not cheap, but an awesome bit of kit. Another essential bit of kit which you have to have in Australia uh, is some kind of sunshade or awning. So this one's the King's one, folds out pretty cheap. It's about a hundred bucks, something like that. Um, it folds out, you've got the two legs, awesome for keeping the sun off and the rain. How many times has this saved us from getting cooked, from getting flooded? Uh, too many. Too, ma too way many, way too many. But by far the most important thing about four-wheel driving is front and rear recovery points. Yeah, so that's the rear recovery point. So what, what that's for is a rated uh, point that you can safely fix either a snatch strap or a winch to, to pull from the front, from the rear, sorry. And then there's also another one that we have on the front. So you can see there, that's the side section. This is the ARB one. And that's just to safely you hook up to that point there that red point again it's so that the vehicle can safely be recovered if it gets bogged well that's pretty much all of our equipment and the at the end of episode one so hope you like what you see hope you're gonna come along on the bba butler boy adventures with us and hopefully we'll see you again soon so if you like us give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more yep and we'll hopefully see you guys again soon. So take it easy. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.